All right, everybody, welcome to Trades Tutor. We are math and science for the construction trades. Let's get going. So today we're gonna to look at rolling offset and we're gonna be going through an example of a rolling offset. So what we have there is a room or a space. You can see it's three dimensional. It has a length, it has a width, it has a height. And if you wanted, you could go in that room and goof around in that room like looks like Johnny's doing right now. So the idea is this, we're gonna bring a piece of pipe in we're going to start it there, right at that point, and we're going to bring it from one side of the room to the other side of the room. We're going to roll it. Okay? We're going to go across the room and from the bottom to the top, or from floor to ceiling, just like that. That's what we're calling a rolling offset. And this is actually quite an easy concept. It, it's a little, it looks a little more complicated than it actually is, is to calculate that piece of pipe. So we'll start with a drawing. You can see the three-dimensional room. And there you go. We're going to bring the pipe from one side to the other. We're going to roll it through that room. Remembering that this is a 45 degree rolling offset, so that's a 45 degree, that's a 45 degree. And we're going to throw down a 90 there and a 90 right there. Okay. So, what we have is the offset from one side of the room to the other. And then we're going to do the rise from the floor to the ceiling of the room. And those come in very important in this calculation. So. The third part is what we're actually going to try to find out, and that's that travel. That's this piece of pipe here. Okay, so this is two triangles. There's triangle number one, the blue one, and there's triangle number two, the green one. So this is two calculations in working with those two triangles to get us to the travel. Remember, that's a 90, and that's a 90. Okay, so we'll bring that blue triangle down there, and what we want to do is we want to find out a couple of the sides. So we have the offset and we have the rise. And we're going to talk about those being the a squared plus b squared. And if you recognize that formula in front of you, that is Pythagoras' theorem. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And we'll say the offset's 13, the rise is 9. All right? And what we're going to find is c right there. Plug in some numbers here. C squared is equal to 13 squared plus 9 squared. We're going to work that all around. And what we're going to get is C is the square root of 250 or 15.81. So C, that piece of pipe is 15.81. Now don't forget this. We're talking about now in the green triangle. We have one side of it. But we got a 45 there and a 45 there. What that means is that that side is also 15.81. Okay, the two sides are the same. And then when we get to the travel, what we'll find is the travel is equal to C times 1.414. That's a little bit of trigonometry action going on for you. So we do that calculation, or 15.81 times 1.414, and we end up with 22.36. That is your travel. So it's, in the end of the day, it's not really that hard. It's two triangles. Okay, once you sort those out, basically it's two steps to get you to travel in that 45 degree rolling offset. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, hope this helped you guys and good luck with your studies and have a great day.